Um, <laughs> what? Uh, so, so the reason that we, we have a specific reason we wanted to bring you here, okay, this week. Oh, Jesus. No, no, no. Okay, <laughs> but I'm, you're going to have somebody on your side in this, and you're going to have people that are not on your side. But this is for our audience, okay? No one gave me a warning. No one gave me a warning. I don't know okay. what's going right, on. So he has no idea what's about to go through. Right. Oh, okay, yeah, we didn't want to prep you on this, but this is this, sure. okay. So one of the most polarizing uh, guys, not even polarizing guys in the show, but when we had Kevin Gill on this show, oh. okay, he got he got buried. And to this day, when we have YouTube and stuff, comments or any comment in the show or, or mailbag, people still call him to bury KG, okay? I never had a problem with KG. Of course, KG and Conan did not get along. They did not like each other. Joe Feeney and KG did not get along. They didn't like, like each other. But I don't think it's fair for our audience if I'm the only voice that always says, hey, I don't have a problem with KG. You've been a KG fan. You use them on yeah. your shows and everything. Tell us, give, give us for our crowd so we don't have just completely one-sided narratives on the show. Tell us why you're a fan of Kevin Gill. I, I just like Kevin Gill. Um, he's... Uh... We've been using them. We used them a couple times for commentary as like just uh, at spring break, just one offs, uh, maybe a couple matches. And he stepped up his commentary game. And not only that, but he, you know, in the, the backstage sense of game changer wrestling, you know, he he's he wants to be all hands on deck. And why not have someone like that on uh, our shows? I think he's I think he's a, a great guy. I think I, I think he's wonderful, actually. I have no issues with him. Conan, how do you feel about that? Oh no, bro! The, the thing is, he, what happened with this? He went. He's perfect for your show because he's a super mark. Okay, so he's perfect for your fucking show because he's marking out Jesus. more than the actual marks. He's like the mark's best friend. So he understands indie wrestling. That's what he follows. But he did a show for. I wasn't even in the promotion. Vampiro, who I who says that uh, that I guess Kevin was his mentor. All right. Uh, hooked him up for that show, and he was not prepared. He mispronounced shit. He didn't know what was going on. Oh, yeah. So when he got on the show, boy, I fucking, you know, lit into him. You know what I'm saying? And he couldn't take it. So then later on, he took another show on MMA. Was it the Blood Sport? Yeah, uh, Josh Barnett's Blood Sport. Yeah, this past yeah. week. And he got eviscerated again. He wasn't prepared. He didn't know what he was talking about. He mispronounced. Well, I didn't know he was on that show. I didn't yeah. Know. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's he not my act, show. That has nothing to do with me. <laughs> you know what the funny thing about it is, Paul Lazenby, the the, the su supposedly security guard of the stars of Jericho, but basically says Jericho's goon. Um, <laughs> he he, and he's a big uh, who's the Japanese Minoru Suzuki fan, and um, he was threatening violence against Kevin Gill because he was so upset at his commentary. <laughs> oh my have god! Have you ever had have you ever had people that were uh, as upset? At Kevin Gill, but they want physical acts of violence against him. Have you known anybody like that? No, I, I don't know anyone like that. I didn't know who did come. I, ha I haven't even seen that show yet. Like I said, I barely watch anything, even the shows I'm associated with. So I've never seen the Bloodsport show, but I also believe those shows should have legitimate commentary with MMA experience. And that's just my opinion. You know, I don't know. It's, a, it's, a, you know, it's a worked MMA show. You got to have, you know, you got to have. MMA commentators, but 